When you enter the city, you find yourself in the main district, featuring low-density housing along with many wind turbines. Race-wise, it is very diverse. The industrial district is to its right, producing most resources needed to construct and maintain buildings. It has majority of utilities for the city's function. The Carmline district, split between two elevations, the lower elevation having housing, with the higher elevation having industry and a sport field, along with an intact Carmline crystal and a water pump. The Shinox district has some housing in a traditional style of those who migrated there. It has kaobol plantations with small amount of lumber mills. There is a police station with a latex harvesting site. There are also two buildings with all the equipment needed to transfer humans. The Lang district is a commercial district full of distribution centers and factories. Here you can buy everything you need or want, with salary from nearby factories. The Bati district has human-friendly hotels with their own suppliers. The hotels provide excellent service, in hopes of attracting more migrants and tourists. The Kaiju district has some high-density housing, with a court of law. This court building is connected to a prison yard with tents for prisoners and small police station for guards. The Snow Leopard district is a military base providing protection to the city. It has shelter for soldiers, with on-site military manufactories, artillery and a pile of assimilative goo. The Nightling district has residences next to white crystals, which are harvested for more nightling transfers. The crystals provide outdoor lighting. The Tiger Shark District features a swimming lake in the middle, with height and low density housing along the road. There is a construction yard with a large warehouse. It is operated by a pony builder union. The Lemon Shark District is similar to Tiger Shark District. However, it doesn't have industry.